Today on City Line, it's Fashion Friday, and we want you to be brave and bold. I feel like I'm almost here. like not grown enough to wear that. No. Like, <laughs> yeah. don't you like you feel like you have to be a woman to wear yeah. the fathers. <laughs> Lingerie as outerwear is back. I love that it's kind of coming back because you know, multi-use. Why not get more use out of the pieces that you're buying? Then recreating red carpet makeup looks. We are looking at this very pink, very Barbie sort of um, color that's happening right now. Try to get that award season glow. You could definitely rock a Barbie pink. Absolutely, because every girl has the right to be at Barbie. Exactly. And later, making sure you're buying quality clothing. So sometimes you see something and it's at a, it's at a certain price and you're thinking, why is this so expensive? Yeah. These are the reasons the why. details, exactly. It's City Life with Tracy Moore. Sit down, you can take a load off. It's Friday here, Fashion Friday. We're so excited for Fridays always. Do you not look forward to Fridays? Aren't they so good? They're even better when you get paid, which is not us today, but that's okay. It's coming next week. So we have a really fun show planned for you today. Do you want to look as good as the celebs? Of course you do. We've got trending red carpet makeup looks for you. You can do at home. If you're looking to add some volume to your hair. We've got the answer with hair extensions. Plus, we're gonna show you how to spot good quality clothing. But first, it's our 60 Minute Makeover, everybody! <laughs> so today, we are making over one lucky couple just in time for Valentine's Day. Let's find out who they are. I rode into City Line for a couple's makeover because my husband and I hit a couple of milestones. Do you want honey? Honey? Sure. We both turned 40 years old. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we celebrated our 10 year anniversary, and I really thought it would be a great uh, refresh, a great start for the next chapter in our lives. We met uh, in 2010 uh, on a dating app. I think I messaged her first. No, 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 uh, I messaged you first. This, okay, maybe. So we do feel like we are suffering from a little bit of a midlife crisis. There's a fine line when we put on our clothes, like, do I look uh, like a tired parent or a cool and trendy parent? I, I actually really don't know. So um, I'm either too young or too old or don't care. When I was younger, I was much more trendy. As we're getting older, our, our schedules are just so hectic. Uh, work schedules, our own extracurricular activities, our kids' extracurricular activities, there's just really no time. So I do not style my hair in the morning. I just brush my hair and I'm and I'm out. That that's pretty much it. Or I tie it in a in a bun and that, that's pretty much it. Um, my five year old, he was he's really cute, but uh, he came home one day and he said to me, "Mommy, my friend is so much more stylish than you. She wears lip gloss and she has sparkly nails." And I just thought, like, yeah, yeah, that five year old is definitely 100% more stylish than me. So uh, I think we want to do it for our kids too, right? We want them to be like proud of what, what we're wearing. Yeah. So these are my matching sweat suits. So. Uh, Christine's style is uh, very casual. Ripped jeans, uh, sweats lots of times. Uh, sweats and t-shirts and date night, maybe. Bogdan's style is uh, he wears a jeans and t-shirts uniform. Uh, that is what he wears every single day. I definitely still want Bogdan to be true to him, so still casual, but maybe more elevated. Uh, maybe more layers, um, uh, not always just t-shirts and jeans. He could wear a college shirt sometimes, but that would be nice. Over the last year and a half, uh, I've lost uh, well, over 70 pounds. I felt my health just wasn't there. I couldn't do things. Like, I wasn't as active as the other dads. Uh, so I wanted to set a better example for my kids, and uh, so I decided to lose all the weight, start getting back into shape, back into sport. With this makeover, I hope to feel uh, younger, uh, a little bit more, I guess, trendy, and uh, my, I hope that my kids uh, are proud, are not embarrassed by what I'm wearing. Yeah, I want to be seen as like a, a cool mom, not the mom that, you know, uh, drops off their kids in pajamas sometimes. We're incredibly excited 
A little bit nervous. Oh, a little bit nervous, uh, but we're looking forward to having this makeover. I'm looking forward to it too. Christina Bogdan, join us now in oh. studio. All right, you two. I love seeing your story. How are you feeling right now? I am excited and nervous and excited and, and nervous. And nervous. And excited. Yes. Bogdan, how about you? Uh, same. Uh, yeah. A little bit more nervous. Well, there's uh, a lot happening. Exciting. There's yeah. like a lot of cameras in front of you, yes. aren't there? <laughs> yes. Forget all about them. We're going to focus on you and pampering you today. We've got a whole style team for you today. Let's bring in Janine Holmes and Raj Binder. Girl wall. <laughs> Hi, you two. Okay. Talk to me about your makeup inspo uh, for Christine. She says she doesn't want to be the pajama drop-off mom. Nope. nope. Right? And that's not, not the look today. we're going for. Not today. She actually requested the most Googled makeup trend of last year. Okay. So give you a hint, it has to, it's a hot drink that we all like to okay. sip on. I know so what's that's happening. A little you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's gonna be good and warm and glowy and awesome. Yes. Okay, Rajvinder, let's talk a little bit um, about uh, clothing. What are your thoughts? So Bogdan just said, you know, he doesn't want the kids to be embarrassed. <laughs> this is a, a low bar. Like, you have a lot of room here. because you know what? That's actually unattainable. <laughs> <laughs> You've got teenagers. You know, it's over always, for us. But you know what? We will think that you're going to look cool. So we're trying to get a cool look, um, especially for, like, a date night look. Yes. That's sort of trendy and then pieces they can use in the rest of their wardrobe. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, Maybe how about so. for Christine? Can you give us, like, a little bit of a sneak peek? For Christine, you know, she's a mom and she's busy. Yeah. We need to like glam it up a little bit. Yes. A little bit of sexy appeal kind of thing. So that's what I'm hoping to bring into the. I love that. <laughs> and she will, she will bring it. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let's bring in our hair team because we got to talk hair. Let's give them some love. We've got Allison Hill and Will Abanador uh, with us right now. So, Allison, you're going to be working with Christine. Can you give us just a little bit of a sneak peek of what you're thinking? Do you have a plan, or are you going to make it up as you go along? I mean, you know I like to make things up as I go along. <laughs> but she wanted to look beautiful when she went to pick up her kids. Although yes. she might wear pajamas, again, her hair is always going to look good. That's right. So I have a little something in mind for her. It's a surprise. Oh, good. I'm excited for you. And, Will, what are we thinking? Uh, oh, we know we're thinking that we're going to make a big change here Ooh. and he agreed to take down the beard <gasps> yeah okay so big okay. changes i'm gonna take it down tight on the side and yes. i'm also gonna pair it with a down-to-earth citrusy fragrance to go along with it oh so my gosh citrusy fra fragrances yeah. thank you <laughs> i love the sound of that yeah. okay this is gonna be a fantastic makeover let's give them lots of love and uh have fun you two thank you. very nice we see, of course, the big reveal at the end of the show. Now it's time to spice things up a little bit. Lingerie-inspired looks are a bold fashion choice that is always in style. Here with tips to make your under things the star of the show, we've got Miles Sexton in the house. <laughs> As outerwear, this is not a new thing. No, I mean, like, we've been seeing it for a long time, but it's, I'm finding there's like a resurgence on the runways again, especially when we look at designers like Jean Paul Gaultier. Like, I love that it's kind of coming back because, you know, multi use. Why not get more use out of the pieces that you're buying, right? And I think most of us that are buying lingerie for lingerie are not wearing it enough anyway. Exactly. So it's like what you say wear it on the outside sometimes. 100%. And, you know, I think what's something cool about, you know, Jean-Paul Gaultier and, and doing sort of these, like, lingerie pieces is he also designed for Madonna, yes. which we both just saw in concert. Yes. You know, and I was like, I feel like I have a whole new level of, like, respect for her and, like, everything that she's done. So, obviously, 100%. I had to get inspired by her and her, so one of her signature looks today. <laughs> yes, if we're talking about wearing lingerie on the outside, Madonna's been a trailblazer for yeah, sure. Yeah, 100 percent. So, let's talk about your look. I'm loving what's happening here. Oh, You've got a corset you. going on, and we yes. know that corsets are, like, mainstream people are wearing totally. them to work and yeah. you know to brunch so exactly your look is awesome they're way more trendy so i you know really with the look i want to like it's all about layering i think when we're like bringing these undergarment kind of pieces like into every day so you know i did a great little dress shirt from rw and co layered the corset it's a canadian designer so diana de noble oh nice the big thing with corsets is like you want to be a bit careful with like buying corsets just like off the rack it's better to get one made for your body so you don't have any sort of issues mm -hmm. when wearing it. So it fits, fits to your form. So it's a way more comfortable. Yes. But I did a smaller corset as well because like, 
you're going to be sitting, like, you don't want to have one of the longer ones because then yes. you're going to be like a board and you can't, like, bend <laughs> over. It's not, it's not fun. So a shorter corset is going to be a little bit more comfortable as you wear it throughout the day as well. Beautiful. Yeah, I love you. that. <laughs> okay, let's bring out your first model. Uh, we're going to talk about something a little bit lacy. Yeah. Come on out here, Dana. <laughs> love these looks. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, so, you know, we all have, like, a lace bra or something at home. So, yes. like, I really wanted to show a way that we can sort of, like, incorporate it into a bit more of a street-style look. So, yes. I pulled this, like, really great set from Levi's. So, the matching denim. And what was kind of cool about this is, like, I actually end up going into, like, the menswear section and getting the men's jacket version of this set because I wanted it to be a bit more oversized, a bit more comfortable and boxy yeah. to really, like, show off, I think, this gorgeous NYX lace bra that we have underneath. So just adding a little bit of texture to this black look will yeah. help to sort of break it up. And again, like, I love with NYX, they're such an inclusive, like, undergarment brand. If you haven't heard of them, they're Canadian, mm -hmm. super size inclusive. Like, I, I absolutely love them. And then, you know, just to add a bit more playfulness to the look, you know, I really wanted to add these little pops of pink, just because, like, They're I think so an all black good. look can be so heavy. Yeah. So these great little pops of pink from Aldo in the purse and the shoe, I just think help to elevate this streetwear look. So. This is beautiful, and I like the idea of wearing something a little bit more slinky with something a little bit more edgy. Yeah. So you've got that big old oversized uh, jean, jean jacket, and yes. you look like, okay, you could do anything in this. Exactly. And maybe no one's even going to say, hey, she came out in her bra. No. Nope. It's just going to be like, <laughs> it's just a look, right? Totally, totally. Looks so good, Dana. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very nice. Next up, we've got Vanessa. Come on out. Let's see what this looks all about. <laughs> Love it. Uh, so, again with Vanessa's look, it's yeah. all about like balance, like balancing the masculinity and the femininity of the oh, outfit. Yes. You know, so we kind of have like this gorgeous boyfriend blazer with these Love. beautiful details from Cost, like, oh, looks so luxurious. Mm -hmm. But then pairing it with like stockings, you know, stockings and leggings are a great way that we can sort of like play with these sort of lingerie pieces that we have, but like layering it. So a big thing with this sort of look is like, I wanted to make sure that they're comfortable and you have like coverage as well. So yep. underneath, we just paired a little bit of like a little biker short underneath just so you have a bit more coverage, but it's kind of hidden by the blazer. So if you are sitting down, you're not yes. gonna feel like you're open and exposed. Yeah. Um, and it was great. And then the stockings, I actually just found them on Amazon. So you like, did? and they came in like a pack of six of all these cool different ones. That's so so cool. definitely check them out. They're like super, super cool. So you can get different designs, which is nice. And then, you know, just to elevate the look, I did a little bit of like gold Jenny Bird jewelry. Nice. And then paired it down with some Aldo accessories in the shoe and the bag. So. What do you do? Do you get the garter separately? It was all, all it's all one piece. It's which is all so cool. Oh, that's amazing. It's literally like connected to this little belt. I feel like I'm almost here. like not grown enough to wear that. But like, also, yeah. Don't you like you feel like you have to be a woman to wear yeah. the garters and like the hosiery yeah. attached. Uh, I aspire to it. Maybe when I'm 60. I don't know. I'm uh, getting there. I'm into it. I'm into it. We'll you make look it happen. so good, <laughs> Vanessa. You always look good though. Give uh, her some love. Ooh, <laughs> Love, 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 love. Okay, let's get Valeria out here now in uh, in our in our last look. What's happening? Yes. So really with Valeria's look, we all have a little yes. slilt slip, you know? Yes. So really, I love that it's coming into like the mainstream of wearing it every day. So this is a gorgeous silk laundry slip, but how do we elevate that slip that we have? Because it is a very quite basic piece. So I added in this really sheer, gorgeous Narcissus Canadian nice. designer kind of shawl. It actually buttons in the front if you want to. So if you are maybe that you don't want to show a lot more skin, maybe you're feeling like a more mature adult, you yeah. don't want to have all of this exposed, adding mm -hmm. a little shoulder shawl piece is a really great way, but choose a sheer so it kind of gives yeah. like a bit of an illusion. And then as we go down, I wanted to continue the elevation. So going in with this really chunky Lisa Corbo belt, it was so cool. I love like a hip belt back. Nice. And then again, kind of pairing that sort of like layered texture of the lines in the shoe from Aldo as well. So just really kind of pulling in all of the look and giving it some balance. I think this is probably the most mainstream way to do yes. uh, lingerie on Agreed. the outside. We've all been wearing slip dresses forever. Totally. So I think that this is an easy one to embrace uh, and absolutely stunning on you, honey. Thank ah. you for that. <laughs> Miles, well done. Thank you. So we have got trending red carpet looks anyone can create after this short break. Stay with us. It's Fashion Friday, everyone. Very nice. Coming up, makeup looks straight from the red carpet. You're doing the glam, um, and you're doing them on the supermodels and the actors, and we want to look like the big celebs.
Makeover makeover underway, and they are going to get full glam. We're going to see that reveal at the end of the show. But before we get there, are you dreaming of celebrity-style glam? A lot of us do, so we've got you covered. Get ready to turn heads with three sensational red carpet makeup looks, all brought to you by our celebrity stylist, Grace Lee. <laughs> Stylist. You know I mean makeup artist. Yes, yes. You're with all the stars same all Mary the time. No, uh, but same, same, same industry. sort of industry, right? <laughs> you're doing the glam um, and you're doing them on the supermodels and the actors and we want to look like the big celebs. So you're going to give us some of your secrets right now. And we're going to hit three different areas of the face. You're going to start with the brows. Yes. What do we need to know about brows to give us that celeb look? Well, we definitely saw a lot of bold brows on the red carpet, and mm -hmm. uh, the looks are really about keeping the face very tonal and monochromatic, okay. and that really makes the brow stand out on its own. But I really think that, you know, a bold brow makes a statement on its own. Uh huh. Gorgeous. So we Absolutely. have Erica. I'm going to show you how to create, she has already a beautiful brow to begin with, yeah. but a little trick that I like to do is usually brows have a lot of sparse areas that need filled in. Yeah. So what I like to do first is brush the hair downwards. So what happens is you get to see exactly where the sparse areas are. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also never want to go above that natural hairline because then they're just going to look like a totally different shape. Okay. So what you can do is kind of fill in, um, like right where the sparse areas are. And I'm using a very micro brow, which again delivers like product, but again, very controlled and precise. Then what you want to do is brush the hairs up mm -hmm. so you can see exactly where it's filled in. And if you need to fill in a little bit more underneath, you're creating hair-like strokes which again is very natural. And that's good because you're not gonna get like that big sort of Groucho Marx block. Exactly. You're looking like you're actually coloring on hair. Right, Precisely. if you're doing the strokes like that, that it's hair. You can also tell that she was not a teenager in the 90s. No, Because she actually not has like a brow. <laughs> yes. Like that's a lot of good brow to work with. Exactly. But even a big brow or a full brow still needs a little help. Yeah. So I also love to use like a tinted gel and I like to do a color that's a little lighter than the actual hair color. Yeah. So again, you're not going to like completely make your eyebrows black. You don't mm -hmm. want them like super dark, just bold and filled in and bushy and boyish. And what I'm doing is um, keeping the, this tinted brow gel upwards and outwards so it keeps them in place. Very good. Okay, let's talk. So brows on point. Give her some love for the brows. Yay! Let's move over to the lips. Lips are having a moment. We are looking at this very pink, very Barbie sort of um, color that's happening right now. We are, and I think it's uh, from the Barbie movie, yeah. actually. Um, and what I would suggest is going like a neutral pink, but also picking a lip color that's a little bit more of a blue pink mm. undertone. Mm -hmm. um, so you really do see a contrast of pink on the lips. I like that. So um, very pretty. And I am seeing a lot of not super matte pink lips, but more of a satin. You could also do like a very pinky gloss on top. Mm -hmm. um, and it is kind of like Barbie inspired. I do love a matte lip though. I think I do. that's lovely. Yes. And I mean, everyone can go out there and find their pink, right? Exactly. Like this might be too light for you, but mm -hmm. if you went for a more purple undertone, you could definitely rock a Barbie pink. Absolutely, because every girl has the right to be a Barbie. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit. Yes, 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 love, love for the Barbie lips, please. Let's talk about the eye. Okay. So uh, this is the last trend. We're seeing sort of earth-toned eyes uh, on the red carpet, and we're gonna show, you're gonna show us how we can do that. J-Lo. Mm -hmm. I mean, think earth-toned eyes, like khakis, bronzes, mm -hmm. browns, muddy browns. Um, I'm using a shadow eye stick, which is very easy to do. Look up for me, please. It looks like it goes on easy. It go, it's creamy, it's very pigmented. Sometimes you don't even need a brush because you can blend that out with your finger. Mm -hmm. um, but what I like to do is go for it. And then um, what you can do is blend an eyeshadow on top. So okay. this is a khaki green, but then I'm using a bronze color. Close. 
and I'm just gonna blend that all kind of on top and all over. It also adds um, longevity yeah. when you add a cream and then an eyeshadow on top. Um, look up, and it's like a easy smoky eye in literally less than 30 seconds. And it's those it's those mossy greens, those browns. Moss, exactly. Just those are the tones that are doing it. Earth anything from the earth is great on the eye. Yeah, and it look, gives you that nice sort of glowy warm feeling. Yeah, it looks great on everyone too. Yeah, and it's very just nice. like very easy to do. Gorgeous. And we'll just get you to close your eyes, I guess, and we'll get a shot of that so we can give you some eye love. What do you think, everybody? Isn't that nice? Very good, thank you. I can open them out. Good job. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Not like I'm you. surprised. <laughs> love all of these looks. Thank Stay you. tuned. We'll be back after the break. Stay with us. Coming up, what to look for to ensure your clothes are well made. This is a bit rougher, you can feel some friction. Yeah. So over time, this is gonna be more likely to tear and rip because you're uh, putting so much force on it. Welcome back, my friends. You may have seen our next guest all over your socials. Meet Jennifer Wang. Hi, City Line. My name is Jen, and I'm a content creator based on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. A pharmacist by trade, this Toronto-style queen is known for her fashion quality checks. You can learn a lot about a brand by the pieces in their sales section. Just look at these tarnished buttons. This tweed is just falling apart. Her videos exist for two reasons. One, because she's sick of wasting money on clothes that don't last. When I look at this sweater, all I can think of is the horrendous pilling that's going to occur within the first few weeks of you buying this. And two, to help combat the problem of textile pollution by making us think smarter about our clothing. I really like how they pay attention to details. So for example, this sweater is distressed at the bottom, but there are loops of yarn to prevent the sweater from fraying over time. In a world full of hauls, Jen's all about de-influencing and helping us get the best bang for our buck. I want to help teach people how to buy better quality clothes so that they keep them for longer, wear them for longer, and throw less away. Welcome, Jennifer! Yay! You're loud. You can even clap for yourself. That's so good. You have gained quite a following for your informative videos. You're telling people how to look for quality. What's the feedback been like for you? It's been awesome and a bit overwhelming, but it's been really amazing. So many people are messaging me or sending me DMs on comments. They're telling me how appreciative they are of my tips, and they're using my tips to buy better quality clothes. They're wearing them for longer, and they're saving money. And saving the environment too. So exactly. we love that. So uh, Jennifer's actually gonna help us with quality. Like help us know what to look for. We wanna make sure we're getting our money's worth when we are out there buying uh, clothing. You say the first thing we need to be looking at is the garment tag. Yeah, absolutely. Because depending on the type of garment you have, there is, there is an optimal fiber content. So for example, okay. we have this coat here. And for coats, I usually recommend 100% wool because okay. that's what's gonna keep you the most warm and yeah. that's gonna last the longest. So you really wanna avoid synthetics like polyester, polyamide, nylon, because those tend to hold on to odor. They're petroleum-based oh. products and they hold on to our body oils, so that tends to make you a little bit smelly. And because coats, we don't wash them that often, we don't yeah. want that, right? Okay, so that is something I didn't realize. If you have anything, is it anything synthetic is petroleum-based? Uh, polyester and polyamide. Polyester. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those two products, if your clothes is stinky, that's yeah. why it's holding on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's talk a little bit about sweaters. So we know when it's sweater weather, we're out there buying sweaters. Yeah. What should we be looking for? Absolutely. So I have a few examples here. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Okay, so we have this one. This is a acrylic cotton and wool blend. Okay. This one is 100% wool. And then we have this one, which is a mohair and nylon blend. Okay, so, so three different sweaters, three different materials. Yes, exactly. Um, you want me to feel these ones and let yeah. you know what I think? Yeah, so what this do you one think? feels nice and soft. <laughs> this one, very good, like it feels like it's a good quality, a little bit rougher. And then finally, this one with a little bit of mohair. Oh, that's nice and soft. Yeah. <laughs> what do we need to know about each one? Which one is giving quality? So actually, this is the one that I would suggest people to avoid because it, it contains acrylic. And acrylic is meant to mimic cashmere, so it's gonna feel nice and soft when you're touching it in store. Mm -hmm. And maybe it feels nice and looks nice when you try it on too. Yeah. But after one or two washes, this is gonna look really old and it's gonna be a little bit crusty. 
It's gonna get crusty. Yeah. So is this gonna pill? Oh yeah, so this is gonna pill, and then when it does, it's gonna be hard to remove the pilling because of the synthetic fibers in it. Okay, so this one, we're gonna leave that one behind. <laughs> this one is 100% wool. Yeah. Do we like this? Yeah, so wool actually tends to pill as well, but okay. you'll notice that the pilling on this one is really easy to remove because those wool fibers are just detaching themselves, whereas that one, they're forming little balls of plastic on top of your sweater and it's gonna be impossible to take them off. Okay, so wool we're okay with. Yeah. And what are we doing? We're washing and then what? We're washing and laying flat to dry. Flat dry, yeah. okay. So wool's giving us good quality. Yeah. This one is what, mohair and? Yeah, so a good rule of thumb is to uh, find uh, natural fibers like that wool sweater, but this yes. one has the nylon blended into the mohair and there's a good reason for that. So uh, because mohair is um, a shorter fiber, that's what gives you this lovely fuzzy texture, mm -hmm. but it needs to be stabilized because if you're making a sweater with 100% mohair, it's gonna shed and disintegrate so quickly. So that polyamide actually is a core to the yarn and it's gonna stabilize that yarn so that your sweater looks nicer for longer. So we have a natural and we have a synthetic and they work well together. Exactly. So this is good quality as well. Exactly. Okay, good. So now we know these are the sweaters we wanna get and maybe leave the first one behind. That's right. <laughs> okay, let's talk a little bit about the details when it comes to sewing. I'll give you those. Sure, yeah. Because you need to actually be looking at how a fabric or a piece of clothing is put together to know if it is a quality piece of clothing yeah. as well. So back to this gorgeous coat. Back to this coat, yeah. So. When I first look at a garment in store, I look at the front and you see sewing on the lapels here, right? I'm just gonna show you that. So yeah. all of these stitches along here, what are we looking for, Jennifer? So we're looking for evenness across the stitching and we're looking for no missing stitches or loose threads coming out. Okay. Yeah, because what? a yeah. loose thread might be a small problem, but it indicates poor manufacturing. Poor manufacturing if you've yeah. got loose threads there. Exactly. So this one looks like good quality. This is a good one, yeah. Okay, very good. Um, lining, yes. you wanna talk about lining of since course. we have, uh, you can use this oh, or you yeah. can use I'm another one. I'm gonna use the blazers here. Sure. So when you're looking for a, a good quality outfit, I remember my mom always saying, well, is it lined? <laughs> you know, because that lining just gives you that extra bit of fabric, that extra bit of protection. Yeah, it's exactly. gonna feel better against your skin, but what are we looking for in the lining? So we're looking for the lining fabric to be cut to size, meaning that there's no drooping of the lining outside of your garment, because right. if you're looking at it from the other side, that's gonna look really messy. Yeah. So we want that to be nice and neat looking. Okay. And we want this fabric to be nice and silky and a little bit slippery because that's what's gonna help us glide over our clothes and help yes. us put it on. Okay, yeah. and this one would be an example of it not doing that. Exactly, so this is a bit rougher. You can feel some friction. Yeah. So over time, this is gonna be more likely to tear and rip because you're pl uh, putting so much force on it. Oh. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Now buttons. Yes. Buttons are always good to look at because there's a well-constructed button and there's a less well-constructed exactly. button. So what are we looking for with our buttons? So for buttons on things like blazers, like these bigger buttons, you always want to look for something that's reinforced. And what I mean by that is you're looking for a thread that's wrapped around the base of the button. I'll just hold that for you. So <laughs> it's teeny tiny. But there's actually, oh, how do I show that? There's actually thread wrapped around the base of the button and that's gonna keep this button attached. Yes. Whereas this one does not have that. And that's why you have some items and the button just pops off. Exactly, like, and then you'll lose that. And then it's gone, yep, right? Yep. And then you go looking through all of your leftover buttons to see if you have anything that matches. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this has one other thing uh, in it that uh, also screams quality. The inside of the button has a, another tiny button. So this is it on the outside, and this is this on the inside. So it's reinforced. Exactly. That's it's never going to come off. Yeah. So sometimes you see something and it's at, a, it's at a certain price and you're thinking, why is this so expensive? Yeah. These are the reasons the why. extra details, exactly. These are the extra details that you wanna hang on to um, and make sure you keep your items for a long time. Jennifer, exactly. thank you so much for this. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm so happy you're out here helping us out. Don't go anywhere, everyone. We've got so much more Fashion Friday happening after the break, stay with us. Really good. and some bounce, then maybe you want to consider extensions. Here with tips and tricks for transforming thin hair is the owner of Suede Salon, Sharon Moravanu. Good to have you, Sharon. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Now, you helped uh, one of your clients, Stella, transform her hair. Let's yeah. take a look at what Stella looked like in her before uh, picture. Uh, so, she was looking for what? So Stella came in and her hair was dark. It was kind of a little bit shorter. She's got very skinny hair in the front. Mm -hmm. She wanted to brighten it up and add some volume to her hair. Okay, she wanted a little va va voom. A little va va voom. Right? <laughs> well, let's take a look at Stella's hair now. Stella's here. Come on in here. <laughs> let's see that va va voom. Come in and have a seat. <laughs> Lovely. You know what? <laughs> Extensions can make such a huge difference, and we see that difference in the before and the after method. So why don't we just start with um, what you did and what kind of extensions you used for Stella? Yeah, so I like to do a hidden bead extension method, okay. and I'm using wefts. So you can see in through. I'll turn her, yes. Perfect. So right underneath here, I just use the bees. Stella. Yeah, so you can see I have my top row of wefts. It's just really mm. flexible. It moves. You would never know oh, it was there. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's like a really thin weft and a really thin band. So it's like it's not it's not sort of adding the, that big bumps. Yeah, exactly. To her head. We want to be able to match the density of her natural hair with mm. how much hair we add to her head. Okay. Yeah, you don't want her to. You don't want the hair wearing her. You want her wearing the hair. That's right. <laughs> okay. I would love to know the process, how that process works, and what tools you need to to use to to get that done. Yes. Yeah, so these are the beads. So this is my bead threader. So it's a tiny little bead. Oops, yeah. Dropped that one. There if you want to give me. Oh, okay. So yes. I'll hold the bead. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that out. So Perfect. these beads are pretty like teeny tiny. Yeah, oh, there you go, good. Yeah, they're tiny beads, so I take and little And I'm just gonna sections. show him the tool here. So, and this is the tool that puts it on. I'm trying to make it so that you can see it there. <laughs> yeah. You see it, there you go. Um, okay, and so yes. you put the bead so on. So I take tiny little sections around, you know, the halo of our hair and I bead sections to create a track for me to be able to sew her wefts onto. Okay. So the wefts are pretty thin, if you want to look at one of these. Yeah. There nice. We go. So these are the wefts she's talking about. Yes, and you can stack two or three on each row, and then just having a mix of colors can help to create little bit more of a blended effect mm -hmm. uh, on her hair. And would you ever would you ever color this hair or do you just add different colors together to get the color you want? I like to custom color all my wefts oh, because I want it to really match up with what she has uh, going on mm -hmm. in her natural hair. Okay. So how long did this whole thing take for Stella? Uh, it took about two hours. Okay, that's not bad. Yes, it's not bad. <laughs> um, let's talk about styling now. So you get them in, um, they're probably the least damaging type of extension she would have in her hair. What does she do about styling and making sure that it all flows together? Yeah, so what we made sure to do is to make sure that her natural flows seamlessly into the extensions, mm -hmm. so the color really matters. Mm -hmm. And then also the, the cutting matters because we wanna really blend those extensions so nobody knows that she has them. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of styling and curling her hair, we wanna make sure, well I would use you know my body shake from Joico, it's like a texture spray, it's really light and workable. And I would just spritz it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that we pick up her natural hair okay. and some of the extension. Right. You don't want to pick up the extension by itself because then it'll look like an added piece of hair. Mm -hmm. So you would curl it. All together. All together. So yes. it blends. So it blends. So again, making that seamless look, that seamless finish. Yeah. So nobody knows she's added hair to her head. Until somebody <laughs> does this. Let me touch your hair. <laughs> so listen, how precious does she have to be with these wefts when they're beaded on? Like, can she put her hair back in a ponytail? She absolutely can okay. because it's very flexible. All right. So you can see her hair can move up. 
Yeah. Pretty easy. Got it. She's you just have to make sure you cover yeah, it up Yeah, she just the has bottom. to cover in through the bottom. Nice. Or she can wear it back this way. Yeah. And then leave, a, you know, a yeah, couple yeah, of pieces yeah. in through here. Beautiful. Yeah, and also in terms of care, shampooing, conditioning, yes. really important. I like to find damage from Joico, mm -hmm. which has no sulfates. So you have to treat your extensions the exact same way you treat the natural hair. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well done. Give it up for Sharon. <laughs> and Stella. You're very nice. Okay. Well, we want the rest of you in the audience to have a great hair day, too. DP Hue is a brand that believes your hair should be healthy, glossy, and beautiful. Their Gloss Plus is a deep conditioning treatment that infuses your strands with deep moisture and shine for anyone who wants a semi-permanent boost to their hair color. And guess what? You're all going to go home with one. So you enjoy that. because our couple's makeover reveal is coming up. Stay with us, everyone. Good morning. Coming up, the moment we've all been waiting for. And we got to see what Christine looks like now. Christine, come on out. Let's see. waiting for it is time for our couples makeover reveal so before the break we met Christine and Bogdan they both turned 40 this year they want to get out of their rut they want to get out of their work from home clothes and into something a little more cool and trendy they're thinking they're done with the pajamas and the track suits so this is their how they looked when they came in and when we saw them uh, to begin with their before shot there is Christine and we got to see what Christine looks like now. Christine, come on out! Let's see! Turn. Do you feel comfortable? Yes. <laughs> what? Very nice. So we were kind of sneaky with it. Like we did not want you to see your husband. No, I haven't seen him. Oh, you haven't seen him? No, Good. No, no, okay, because no. it was really hard. <laughs> we're trying to keep you guys separate. There's not a lot of space here. So we want this to be um, a reveal for both of you as well. Um, do you, are you ready to see him? Sure, yes. Well, first of all, you feel cute. Yes. I... And this is what you were looking for. This is, this is beyond my expectations. Good answers. Love that. Okay. Do we want to take a look at Bogdan, his before shot? If we could see the before shot first, that'd be awesome. Just so you remember what he looked like at some <laughs> point in time, right? Because it's like a whole new, a whole new Bogdan happening. Okay, let's, I don't know if you should even look yeah. yet. Yeah, okay, let's do this. <laughs> Bogdan, come on out! <laughs> Not really. Like, take a look uh, forward. I want you to, oh my goodness. <laughs> look at that. What do you think? It's great. I, I mean, it's cooler. Uh, but yeah, I feel younger. Yeah, I feel like it's taken years off of you, actually. And I know beards are like all the rage, but this is good. <laughs> do we like this audience? face and now it came back. And the baby face came back. Okay, both of you come a little bit closer to me. We gotta get the team in here. Uh, let's get in uh, Rich Binder, Janine, come on in here. Look at this. Okay, 
Raj, you did an incredible job um, with these looks. Walk us through it. Okay, so for Christine, I wanted something that was more glam. Yes. I know she wants to like, you know, not wear PJs when she's picking up the kids, but we have this full outfit from Pink Martini. Mm -hmm. We needed the fur coats, because you know what, even if you're wearing your PJs, you can throw that on <laughs> yes. and pick up your kids, you're allowed. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then a slip dress in this beautiful green that's seasonless. Yep. It's a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit something sexy. Um, and I wanted a metallic shoes because I, we talked about this, she can wear them with her jeans and t-shirt. Even for school pickup, you're allowed. It's a nice little kitten heels uh, sling yeah. back and the bag, and those are from Aldo. That's right, give those moms yeah. something to talk about in the school yeah. yard. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, let's talk about Bogdan. So he wanted Cool Dad. Yes. And we did a last minute swap it. out. And I wanted to get him this really great bomber. Yes. This is from RW and Co. And we wanted to do some basic layering, so it's easy. I mean, a, a shirt, a bit too stuffy. So we just yeah. did some layering with knits. And we wanted an alternative to jeans. So these very great, comfortable pants, the full look is from RW and Co. Um, and then an updated sneaker Beautiful. and the belt from Aldo. It kind of gives him this whole elevated look that he's really used to. It's phenomenal. Janine, we got to talk about this gorgeous mm -hmm. makeup uh, right mm -hmm. now on Christine. What so you if do? you guessed that latte makeup yes. was the most Googled trend of last year, that's correct. It's still going on. And what it is, it's varying shades of browns mm -hmm. on the eyes. I almost did a hybrid of latte makeup and espresso makeup. Nice. We, once I saw her outfit, I was like, oh, we got to amp this up. I'm going to get you to look forward, up. Christine, so we can see and that gorgeous face. Christine hasn't had yes. her makeup professionally done since her wedding, which is actually really common for a lot of totally. women. So all women... If you haven't had your makeup done recently, mm -hmm. get it done. Why it not? Can, it can, well, yeah, it gets you trendy, it gets you up to date. That's right. And then just finished off with a creamy, latte, chocolatey lip. Mm, 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 She's mm. delicious. You just want to drink her up. Absolutely. <laughs> Raj and Janine, I'm going to get you to come over beside me because we're bringing in Allison and Will to talk hair. Oh, my gosh. Walk us through it, Allison. Beautiful hair. Right, so we went along that same caramel, brownish color for yes. her as well. We wanted to lighten her up, but give her something that would last for a while. Mm -hmm. And then she asked for some layers and some face framing to get those romantic eyes shining yes. through. So that's how we set her up. And then, Will, you told us off the top you were going to do the big reveal. And you the, did the big reveal. Yes, and we did just that. We took down the beard. The beard was gone. And we came up with this, you know, a little bit of a softer, more natural look. And then we paired it with the earthy fragrance for a down-to-earth type of guy. Oh, okay. All right. I like it. Listen, you two look amazing. Keep those outfits, wear them again and again and again, but we've got one more surprise for you because you two look very date ready, right? So we weren't just gonna say, hey, why don't you go get a coffee after the show? <laughs> the iconic Sheridan Center Toronto Hotel wants to give you both a little getaway in the city, right in the heart of all Toronto has to offer. You're getting a deluxe room for two, access to all the hotel's amenities and the opportunity to enjoy gorgeous views while you wine and dine at 43 Down, the hotel's signature mixology Lounge. That's right. Mom and Dad are going out. You're going on a date. Don't worry about the kids. Someone will watch that. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us. A little bit more coming up. Looks so good. Oh my God. Well, that brings us to the end of the show and the end of the week. A big thank you to all of our experts today, our Glam Squad, which did an amazing job on our lovely couple today. Incredible. A big shout out to all the crew. Listen, the crew in studio, all of these people behind the cameras who we love, they work very hard. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you sitting in the audience and all of you at home that watch City Live, we love you and we'll see you all on Monday. Mm -hmm.